Uh, we're looking at the uh, January 2009 BY1 paper and uh, we're looking at uh, question number one. Okay, this uh, this question is um, about uh, various uh, molecules and chemicals that uh, are listed at the top. Okay, uh, so all of those um, chemicals should be familiar to you. All right, they're all stated in your syllabus. All right, so you need to know um, basically uh, what the functions um, of those uh, various molecules are. Okay. Uh, so I think we'll get straight in actually to the um, uh, to the questions, okay? And uh, the first one there is asking you about uh, bones and teeth. So which of the chemicals above uh, actually are found in bones uh, and teeth? Um, so you can have a couple of options there, okay? Calcium uh, or indeed uh, phosphate. Uh, is actually found um, in in bones and teeth. So I'm just going to put in F there for uh, calcium. Okay, a non-reducing sugar. Uh, for your A-level, you only need to know about uh, one non-reducing sugar. All right, and that sugar is actually a disaccharide, and uh, it's uh, sucrose. Okay, so uh, that's the way to remember it there. Just sucrose is the only... Um, non-reducing sugar that uh, you need uh, to know about. Okay, uh, so the answer there then is I. Uh, found in chlorophyll in leaves. Okay, so it's a, a component of chlorophyll now and then chlorophyll is found in the leaves. Okay, so that would actually be A uh, for magnesium. Okay, magnesium is found uh, in chlorophyll. A polysaccharide found in plant cell walls. Okay, there's only one polysaccharide uh, in the list, and that is cellulose. All right, now remember cellulose is a carbohydrate, and uh, there are two other carbohydrates actually in the list. Uh, maltose is a carbohydrate, and sucrose is a carbohydrate, uh, but cellulose is the only uh, polysaccharide uh, in the list. Uh, so that's our answer, and it's letter D. Right, uh, two more. Found attached to lipids in the plasma membrane. Okay, so uh, you need to have an understanding of your membrane structure here, um, and uh, some knowledge of uh, uh, lipids and phospholipids, because what is found in the plasma membrane is phospholipids. Um, so you'd actually have a phosphate group uh, attached to the uh, the lipid, uh, then making it a phospholipid. So our answer there is G. Okay, lastly then, a large quantity of energy is needed to raise its temperature. Okay, so this is one of the, uh, the properties and uh, biological importance of water. All right, it's to do with one of the uh, thermal properties of water, okay. Um, the, the two thermal properties then are the uh, heat capacity and the latent heat of vaporization, all right. And um, the question here, part F, is actually relating to the uh, heat capacity uh, because that's the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of water, okay. Uh, so, uh, the answer there would be uh, H. Okay, so uh, that's the end of uh, question one. Uh, pretty straightforward question, I think. It's worth six marks. Uh, hopefully, you should be able to get six marks on this type of question. Uh, if you can't, uh, then you certainly need to uh, uh, consider putting a bit more work in making sure you have covered all of the uh, fine detail of the syllabus, um, okay, because uh, six marks um, in question number one, you should be able to get all of those marks. Okay, I won't show you the mark scheme for, um, uh, for this question because there's nothing more to show you uh, other than what I've actually typed, uh, typed in there. Okay, I hope you found that useful.